So the next three inverse trig functions we're going to look at are the reciprocals of the three that we have already covered. We're going to look at the inverse of cosecant. We're going to look at the inverse of cotangent. And we're going to look at the inverse of or the inverse known as secant. All right, so these are the three reciprocals, right, of the trig functions we've already discussed the inverse about. Um, two of these are closely related to their reciprocal functions. Um, inverse cosecant is defined between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Now there is one exception um, because we can't take the cosecant of a place where sine would give us a zero, right? Like the sine of zero is zero. Well, zero is in between negative pi over two and pi over two. So you're not going to get out an angle measure whenever you take the inverse cosine of zero. The inverse cosine of zero would be undefined. All right. All right. Inverse secant is very similar to its reciprocal inverse cosine as well. Again, there is one place between 0 and pi where secant would be undefined, so we're not going to be able to take the inverse secant and, uh, and get that angle measure. That's at pi over 2. You can't take the inverse secant of something and get pi over 2. Unless we start talking about inverses of, of negative or positive infinity. And we don't want to worry about that right now. All right. And then we have inverse cotangent of x. Which would be the reciprocal of inverse tangent of x. Now, remember that inverse tangent would not exist without sine and cosine. Well, tangent would not exist without sine and cosine. Because tangent is sine over cosine. Um, notice that tangent is closely related to sine. Or inverse tangent is closely related to inverse sine. And tangent is sine over cosine. So it's, it's kind of defined like its numerator. Okay? Um, inverse cotangent follows that same lead in the respect that cotangent is cosine over sine. It's defined like its numerator, cosine, or inverse cosine. Okay. Can we take, I'm going to write this down. Can we take the inverse cosine of something and get a zero. The angle measure of zero. You have to say to yourself, can you take the cotangent of zero? The answer is no. So we don't have the equal two bars. So we have three functions that are defined in a very similar place. That's inverse cosine, inverse secant, and inverse cotangent. And we have three other inverse trig functions that are defined in a similar place. That's inverse sine, inverse tangent, and inverse cosecant.